कृष्णो रक्षतु नो जगत्रयो गुरु कृष्ण न मध्यम सदा कृष्ण अखिल शत्रुभो विनिता कृष्णा तस्म नम कृष्णादेव समुत्थित जगदीद कृष्ण शो दास दासोस्मी अहम कृष्ण तिष्ठति विश्व तदखिल हे कृष्णो रक्ष सोम कृष्ण रक्षतु नो जगत्रयो गुरु कृष्ण न मध्यम सदा कृष्णन अखिल शत्रुभो विनिता कृष्णा तस्म नम कृष्णादेव समुत्थित जगदीद कृष्ण शो दासोस्मी अहम कृष्ण तिष्ठति विश्व तदखिल हे कृष्ण रक्ष क्षमा गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड साक्षात्कारियल लाइफ In this material world, that kar paratattva sakshatkar, you cannot get that directly. That our present situation, that which is kind of destructible material body, that paratattva, in order to get to paratattva is not at all possible to get. That our present situation, that material destructible, this material sense organs and this material subtle body and gross body, by this material, by the help of this material sense organs. we cannot uh, get close to that uh, paratattva it is not at all possible to get to that paratattva so what is the actual pathway then if uh, we can't go like that prabhupada speaking that only one pathway is open to you when you will be becoming nishkapat and you are doing all the time that seva seva mood you are doing and you are doing all the time seva with nishkapat bhav that with full nishkapat bhav we are doing that paratattva is swayam doing kripa on us and is getting manifested in front of us and in just came in the in the in front of our sense organs that what is kind of ignoring bhav for all the sense organ it will just destroy that completely and it will make our material sense organ transformed into transcendental sense organs and that kind of seva mood we will get that surely inside us that it will just make uh, us eligible to do the actual s- transcendental seva and if if we are actually getting the doing the paratattva bhagavat seva for that we are uh, we are having this kind of desire long desire cherishful desire to do the bhagavat seva of uh, that uh, adhoksha vastu paratattva vastu that uh, we are actually not at all ready to do that up till that point that uh, maya object we will be getting attracted automatically that we cannot get out of that maya of attraction of maya object that from the hands of maya devi we cannot get out completely if we are actually getting uh, the service of the paratattva bhagwan and we are not at all doing any kind of agraha or efforts and we are not uh, uh, are ready to having that cherishful desire to do, to serve bhagwan then other objects other maya objects will get attracted automatically we will be serving maya devi automatically this is an automatic process we will be serving maya devi and from the hands of maya devi and uh, in order to get the actual nishtar from maya devi we will get that completely actually by this material body and material sense organs the bhagavad seva is not at all possible by atma that we can do the actual seva of bhagwan service of bhagwan by this material body it is not at all possible all uh, by the by atma only service of parmatma is possible the actual service of parmatma is only possible by atma not by this material body by the actual help of atma only it is possible to serve parmatma 
एंड बाई दिस मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन एंड मटीरियल बॉडी वी कैनॉट सर्व भगवान एट ऑल seva in order to get that service there is only one uh, pathway open that is sharanagati apart from sharanagati there is nothing else you can do and uh, inside us this kind of uh, false ego is there if inside us that kind of false ego is there that uh, all the time we are having this kind of confidence on us that we can do that that kind of false ego then If this kind of vichar is there, then then never we will get the actual paratattva. We cannot get the information regarding that paratattva at all. That fully and wholly, when we'll be having faith on and dependency on Bhagwan, when we'll be having, then then we'll be having full dependency on Bhagwan. That total dependency is there on Bhagwan. Up till that point, the the actual a, everything works for us. Bhagwat Seva. If we will be doing that, if we if we are actually going to do Bhagwat Seva, because if we want to do Bhagwat Seva. then what kind of material uh, karma it is actually getting a node then automatically we will be feeling very much uh, uh, sad and disappointed and this kind of unhappiness and disappointment there should not be any kind of cause for that no reason should be there for that there should be no reason for that when you are serving that paratattva paratattva object there is no case of uh, disappointment at all that paratattva seva to do the seva of paratattva only that actual uh, uh, actual uh, karma you are actually getting established by not serving the paratattva the different different kind of material duties are coming in front of you when you are not at all doing paratattva seva then different different kind of vichar and material duties will come in your way by not serving the paratattva different different kind of material which are will come and different different duties will come in front of us i have this kind of duty i have this duty for this material world so different different which are will come inside your mind different different kind of which are will come in front of us that this is the actual rules and regulations what to do that to do maya seva this kind of uh, kartavya when we are actually just thinking like this that we have to serve maya devi so this kind of uh, thing always persists inside us but when that kind of only only and only uh, only and only service of atma and the only actual goal of the atma is to get the actual paratattva seva is to get the service of that paratattva nitya seva that is the first and the foremost goal to attain that just need to do the actual acharan only then we can get the actual mangal in that otherwise that this whole material world we will just get uh, in we will get just get uh, vanquished and destroyed in this material world we just need to get into this material world otherwise nothing no pathway is open for us to go otherwise we have to go in this pathway only and nothing else otherwise in this material world you just need to stay what to do there is no other pathway open that there is no other pathway open for you and you cannot get out of this material world at all only this is the actual pathway by which you can get out of this material sansar in brahm samhita that from sri brahm samhita while we were discussing it we were actually yesterday yog nidra yog maya about yog nidra and yog maya what is the actual meaning of yog nidra and yog maya and and how that whole material what is the actual rahasya of this material uh, world and material srishti this material creation what is the actual hidden secrecy about this we will be discussing and after that that from the 20 number shloka i have just uh, ordered to describe you 
गुहां प्रविष्टे तस्मिन स्तू जीवात्मा प्रतिबुद्धते दिस ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ तत्व तमाम तत्व दैट ऑल द तत्व इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट हार्मोनाइज दैट ऑल दोस तत्व आफ्टर दैट दैट मटेरियल क्रिएशन इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड आफ्टर दैट दैट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ तत्व when you are just harmonizing all together then i harmonizing the all tatva all together that infinity material creation is getting manifested from mahavishnu it is getting manifested from mahavishnu and bhagwan swayam actually taking place that taking the form of virat vigraha by just manifesting that material creation kanun dakshay mahavishnu after doing all this that each and every in each and inside each and every brahman is getting the manifested inside each and every brahman is this samay at that time that previous pralay kal what was there that whatever kind of jeevatmas according to their own karm phal they are taking birth and they are actually getting manifested according to their previous karm phal for the next uh, generation of uh, this uh, material creation they are prabhut means they are actually getting manifested or they are actually getting activated by taking one gross body at that pralay kalin sthiti at that pregnant condition in that uh, nidra in that sleeping condition in inside mahavishnu they get it activated the actual meaning behind is there is that that in the shastra lot of time that guha shabd this word is actually we can see in the shastras that this guha word that lot of uh, meaning is there behind this maybe in some places that it is that kind of disappearance disappearance leela of bhagwan we can speak guha to that and sometimes we are speaking that uh, that vishnu mantra we place we are actually speaking guha and lot of places that each in each and every jeeva's individual's heart that inside their heart what is there we are actually speaking guha this word but the actual conclusive part of this is that that normal in the in front in front of a, a frontal normal plane that kind of a transcendental plane is actually guha which is very much amazing to see and very much surprised to see and all the jeeva atmas that according to their previous karma that in the previous kalp that what all jeevas at the time of pralay at the time of destruction that uh, in the life of that brahma they have just stayed there in that particular material creation and uh, after that they are getting destroyed and getting inside shri hari again they can uh, get out of the nidra and they can become active that uh, from the previous sanskar that at the time of the uh, creation that what ever come karm vasana lust desire material desires they are having they are again taking it it air actually all the time they are inside mahavishnu at the time of the destruction of that particular material creation now again they are actually getting activated and they are manifesting themselves again in the new material creation and in this material creation again according to their previous and karm phal that what kind of karm vasana desires they are having they are actually again going in that uh, rhythm and and in the 21st number shlok it is written sha nitto nitto sambandho prakritischa paraivasa kya bata hai what actually it is it's written there sha nitto nitto sambandho that these same jivas that infinity jivas what they are actually taking place they are actually all nitya they are transcendental they are not at all like the, from today they are actually taking birth it's not like that they are actually transcendental and in bhagwan gita speaking about the same point nitya virajman hai they are actually transcendental in nature they are nitya all the time they are there that's why it is written in the shlok nitya sambandha prakritischa paraivasa 
that same jiva the all the jivas are nitya and they are actually have infinity relationship from the infinity time they have that kind of relationship with bhagwan from infinity time those all jivas it's already they are present in them transcendentally that all these jivatma we are actually uh, thinking them as para prakriti they are actually para prakriti they are nitya in nature they are permanent in nature they are not at all trans uh, temporary at all shanito nitya sambandha shanito nitya sambandha prakritischa paraiva sa ohi jiv nitya that all those jiva they are actually nitya that having their infinity kind of relationship they have with bhagwan and and they are they are actually para prakriti the actual conclusive point is there in that is that like sun like sun like sun sun god is there and and his uh, and the respective uh, sun rays light rays are there the sun rays are actually then sun like sun and the sun rays are actually comparative with each other who is actually emitting light it is definitely having that trans nitya permanent samband relationship with the sun the light rays are having with the sun similarly that chinmay surya bhagwan that uh, top most uh, transcendental bhagwan and and all the chief guns that kind of uh, transcendental relationship they are having which is ever ending that that same uh, transcendental relationship is there with the bhagwan jeev jeevas they are just from as a part of chit surya like a chit sun they are just like a sun rays rays of that sun of bhagwan and they are having no connection with this material creation and they don't have that kind of temporary bhav at all these sun rays which are which are actually jivas infinity jivas that all those jivas which are like sun rays from coming from the chit the sun that krishna krishna is the chin chit particle they are actually just taking a temporary portion whatever qualities that complete qualities what are there inside krishna that infinity qualities are there inside krishna jivas are have just having that partial qualities in that that the same qualities are there but they are that to in partial form not in complete form but they, it is actually in very very infinitesimal uh, infinitesimally small it is present there inside all the jivas so they are just one infinitesimal part of the chit surya krishna so krishna is gyan swarup a complete knowledge package of complete knowledge and is uh, all omnipotent and omnipresent and individual jivas infinity jivas are just uh, getting a part of that knowledge and they are just bhakti swarup they are having bhakti swarup and aur kotri swarup and katri swarup mantri swarup mantri swarup bhakti swarup sirf itna hi fark hai apne desh par the only difference is that that krishna is vibhu vastu and jeev is actually anu very infinite decimally small this is the only difference and bhed is actually this is also te- a permanent maybe bhed and abhed it is actually connected with the relationship but still bhed is prominent if bhed is not at all prominent if bhed is not at all prominent then that kind of achintya bheda bhed tatva there is no use of that that nitya relationship transcendent relationship that jeev is nitya and he is the nitya krishna das and bhagwan is actually his master and we are all the jivas are the servant of bhagwan in bhagwat sambandh also they have also that kind of adhikar with bhagwan if he wants to get that relationship and adhikar then according to that he just need to move bhagwat ras that bhagwat ras in that jivas are having that eligibility bhagwan has given them the eligibility uh, for that bhagwat ras but still ye adhikar ka this adhikar ye adhikar ka the but this adhikar isko this adhikar sabit karna you just need to prove that that you are eligible to get that adhikar nitya sambandh 
that nitya sambandha that nitya relationship what bhagwan having with bhagwan we are having we just, that is bhagwan is a nitya prabhu that bhagwat ras relationship also with that that with bhagwan every kind of exchange of rasas dasya rakhya madhur shant every kind of rasa there is exchange we can uh, the jiva can do definitely this kind of eligibility he need to prove that that's why in gita bhagwan actually speaking that is the, by this uh, uh, meaning of gita by this actual uh, by this pravachan of gita we can understand that jeev which is actually the parashakti of bhagwan that that we can understand that from there that jeev what is there it is the actual parashakti of krishna by those these shlokas we can understand that completely that shuddh jivatma pure jivatma that apra prakriti that pure jivatma that all kind of qualities that is actually apra pratigat that kind of false ego and everything it is against that apra prakriti those pure individual jivatmas whatever qualities they are having it is actually against that apra prakriti and whatever false ego created by that apra prakriti it is against that it is inside that apra prakriti what we can find in inside that apra prakriti that false ego etc it is actually just it's against that all those pure individual jivas it means that prakriti by prakriti it is not at all touched or contaminated by prakriti at all the pure jivatmas that infinity uh, qualities it is not at all touched by and it not touched by any false ego and uh, by apra prakriti so jeev shakti is actually very much infinitesimal but still it is actually more and more prominent than maya so jiva actually is become infinitesimal but still it is actually more and more uh, shrest and prominent than maya shakti so jeev shakti is actually very infinitesimally small krishna shakti vishnu shakti para prakta vishnu puran ka from the vishnu puran it is written vishnu shakti para prakta khetra gyankhya atha para avidya karma sanyanya titya shakti rishvati so so jeev shakti is infinitesimal but still actually is more greater and than maya shakti it is more greater than maya shakti jeev shakti is very much infinitesimal but still actually it is greater than maya shakti why because maya maya means that apra shakti is getting into that and jeev uh, uh, shakti is actually infinite as well but still it is a part of para shakti so that's why it is more and more greater than apra shakti by this other name of this shakti is tathastha shakti and this shakti tathastha shakti and this maya shakti and maya jagat material creation and jeev tatva that in between that one portion is there that is called tathastha shakti it is the actual boundary line between the maya jagat and the chit jagat in between that fine demarcation what is we can find it is actually present there and it is very much very much infinite decimal this jeev shakti and that maya shakti it can just come very easily in the in in the maya material creation maya shakti it can come inside maya, maya shakti very easily maya shakti can catch it very easily but still this jeev shakti maya ka prabhu krishna that maya maya shakti is actually is uh, the servant of krishna shakti that it is actually the servant of krishna maya shakti and maya can't do anything 
बिकॉज जीव शक्ति इज एक्चुअली द सर्वेंट ऑफ दैट मास्टर कृष्ण शक्ति स्टिल बाई इन्फानेट एसिमली वेरी वीक मे बी इट इज वेरी वीक एंड इन्फानेट एसिमली स्मॉल जीव शक्ति बट स्टिल एक्चुअली इट इज मोर इट कैन कम एंड कैन गेट कॉट बाय माई दी वेरी इजिली इट कैन गेट कॉट बाय माया शक्ति वेरी इजिली जीव शक्ति बट स्टिल वैन भगवान प्रभु वैन भगवान वैन वी आर टेकिंग आत्मसमर्पण ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान कंप्लीटली इट मीन्स वैन वी आर गेटिंग शरणागत एंड वी आर गेटिंग वशीभूत एंड शरणागत ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण एंड गुरु वैष्णव देन माया कांट डू एनी थिंग टू अस शी कैन नॉट टच अस एट ऑल शी कैन नॉट टच दो जीव आज एज वेल नाउ एट दैट मोमेंट ना माया शक्ति कांट डू एनी थिंग वैन वी आर एक्चुअली शरणागत ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव एंड भगवान देन माया शक्ति कांट डू एनी थिंग एट ऑल देन there is no chance that maya shakti can catch us that maya vash we will be getting caught by maya this possibility cannot be there at all and infinity maya and uh, maya bonded jeevas that punavritti that they can get transformed into that uh, vaikuntha all of sansar klesh and everything they will just get uh, transformed and they can also rejoin because it is just a cyclic order according to their previous karma and deeds they will be getting again and again they will get rejoin into this sub cycle of birth and that it is no chance that it will get stopped so that's why this shloka very nice uh, uh, description is there nitya sambandha prakritis cho paraisha paraibosha sha nitto nitya sambandha prakritis cho paraibosha so means about jivatma we are talking here iske baad after that abhi now the 22nd number shlok will be discussing sarmatma sambandham nyabhyam padmam hare abhu tatro brahma abhavat bhuyo chaturvedi chaturmukha this actual mystery of this material creation actually is going on i am just explaining that yaha bataya gaya here actually it is written that sarvatma sambandham na abhyam padmam hare rabhut tatro brahma abhavat it means at that point at that point that from the navel portion of vishnu there is one lotus flower getting manifested getting self manifested automatically we can see and that same lotus flower which actually coming from the navel portion of the vishnu that same lotus flower it is actually the total cause of our relationship with bhagwan sarvatma sambandhi sarvatma sambandh means that uh, in this material creation in our the material brahman that kind of uh, in purva swahata so all everything all material words it is inside that only that maintenance creation and destruction of the material creation all actually is in this only so that it is just coming from the level portion of vishnu and it is also all the really actually related with relationship and chaturmukhi brahma brahma four faced brahma that brahma has four faces brahma has four faces and that four mik brahma that from all the four brahma four faces rig sam yajur ved different different four vedas are actually getting manifested it is made self manifested from the four faces of brahma
that Chaturmukh Chaturvedi Brahma this actually getting manifested on that same lotus flower which is coming from the navel portion of Mahavishnu the actual uh, conclusive portion and point is that that same from that same Vashisht Purush that from that same Vashisht Purush that all the G- individual infinity Jeeva was actually getting uh, that same flower actually is getting manifested for all the Jeevas in which the Jeevas are also present that Guha Pravisht Purush that infinity Jeev Atma Jeev Jeev Purush are actually Jeev Atmas are getting manifested that infinity they are getting that infinity gross body is that Hiranyagarbha that Mool Brahma from that infinity Jeev uh, uh, infinity Jeevas who just want to enjoy their Karamphal they are actually getting manifested that from Hiranyagar Brahma that is the Adi Tattva and from in each and every Brahma what we can find in each, each and in each material creation infinity creation because of this Brahma Hiranyagar Brahma only by that that kind of uh, material creation we can see it is possible and from there infinity individual Jeevatmas are getting manifested and from that Guha Pravisht Purush here Guha Pravisht Purush means that the Hiranyagar Brahma from him that from previous kalpa whatever jivas during the destruction that they are actually just getting activated they are actually in the yoga in the nidra and they are actually getting manifested from uh, again actively manifested themselves and that from the guha guha purush that hiranyagar brahma that all the individual jivas are actually getting manifested again and that from the hiranyagar mool brahma they are actually getting that bhog, enjoying vigraha, they are getting that enjoying wood again, that gross body they are getting again in this material creation so that they can enjoy their karamphal, whether pious or impious deeds they are getting, that from the mool brahma, that hiranyagar brahma, that kind of from the four chaturmukh brahma is getting manifested and from them infinity jivatmas are getting manifested and if we are actually discussing about the brahma tattva, that brahma ji just like that he is the adhikarik devad he is the predominating deity for uh, the material creation in the same manner that tadvidam uh, sharup that krishna that vibhinansh vibhinansh swarup shri krishna that that the actual ansh of that vibhinansh swarup of krishna is brahma ji that is brahma tattva which is the predominating deity predominating deity for uh, the material creation the actual conclusive point here is that the actual conclusive point here is that that guha pravisht purush guha pravisht purush from that that infinity jeev atmas are actually getting manifested in the form of when that lotus flower is getting manifested from the navel portion of Bhagavishnu, that from that guha pravisht purush only infinity jeev uh, atmas they are actually that lotus flower is getting manifested and infinity false ego that hiranyagarbha uh, swarup mool brahma from that the infinity false ego subtle and gross bodies infinity uh, gross and uh, subtle bodies are getting manifested and that kind of enjoying vigraha chatur chatur brahma is getting manifested that all kind of uh, infinity <coughs> gross and subtle body hiranyagarbha swarup brahma from that only that kind of enjoying vigraha that uh, enjoying Vigraha Chaturmukh, Chaturmukh Brahma, four-faced Brahma is getting manifested. And Brahma, just like like Brahma, like Brahma, how, like Brahma, how, that kind of Adhikarik Devta, uh, Adhikarik Devta is getting predominant deity as a material creator is getting uh, manifested in the same way that Vibhin Ancha Swarup, Krishna Ancha, that Vibhin Ancha Swarup, which is not different from Krishna's Ancha, and Krishna's part. That 
विभिन्न अंश स्वरूप दिस दिस विभिन्न अंश स्वरूप दैट श्री कृष्णत्व दैट कृष्ण अंशत्व कृष्ण अंशत्व मीन्स इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट कृष्ण तत्व After that, this which are actually is coming. After getting manifestation, that Bhagwat Shakti Paricharit, that Brahma, according to his previous sanskar, what he is getting, he will be just doing the manifestation of this material creation, automatically according to that. But still, that in all the four direction there is actually uh, darkness. All the four direction there is only darkness and darkness, and no nothing he can see at all. You understand the point what I'm speaking. He can see darkness all the four directions. What to do from where to start? He is thinking. After getting manifestation from the lotus uh, navel portion, when Bhagwan is from the lotus navel portion of Bhagwan Brahma Ji is getting manifested. When from the navel portion of the Bhagwan one lotus flower is is getting manifested, and from that lotus flower Brahma Ji Maharaj is getting manifesting. and it is actually the uh, actual reason and cause of this 14 material worlds and and brahma ji actually has just uh, uh, realized himself that he is actually sitting on that lotus flower brahma ji has just seen himself that he is actually sitting on that lotus flower and just by seeing that he cannot understand that what is my actual cause from where i have come what is my actual identity and what is the actual apart from that that stem what is there in uh, b- b- below this stem and is just uh, going here and there uh, going up and down just running here and there but he cannot understand what is the actual cause what is my actual identity what is that because the transcendental uh, vastu you can object you cannot understand by your uh, uh, material material thinking so that's why in what happened that brahma ji when getting manifestation that uh, bhagwan paricharit shakti brahma according to his previous sanskar that in that srishti vishay he just created that material creation according to the previous previous uh, karm phal but uh, when he has seen in all the four direction there is darkness and darkness and where to start the actual manifestation of material creation what actually written here yato bhagavat shaktya tat kalam kilo chodita shishikshayam matim chakre purva sanskar sanskritam tadarsh kevalam dhantyam nanyat kimapi sarvatah sanyato bhagavat shaktya tat kalam kilo chodita the actual uh, meaning of this is that that at the time of creation what brahma wants to do that material creation it is actually becoming more and more fixed according to the previous sanskar what he has got brahma ji is getting this kind of uh, desire to have this material creation it is only because of the previous uh, kind of sanskar which is getting from the previous life and in the similar way in each and every jiva according to their previous karm phal according to their nature they are getting that uh, nature respective nature in each and every jiva according to the previous uh, purv sanskar uh, previous karm phal what they have performed that according to their behavior they are getting they are getting uh, the result of that and previous sanskar what they have got in their previous life they are actually getting the new nature according to that the previous nature they will just carry out in this then in the next life and this according to this nature 
just by according to this nature according to his own sanskar respective sanskar jeevas inside them that kind of karma cheshta in order to do karma that kind of desire is getting manifested that is called adishta or vya karma phal we are speaking that we are actually speaking adrishta karma phal that that's we are actually speaking adrishta or karma phal we are speaking that in sanskrit that from the previous kalpa what kind of different nature he is getting uh, in order to just uh, complete his uh, material desires that whatever karma he has done in his previous life that according to that only he is getting the kind of uh, nature and effect it is getting manifested automatically inside his heart according to the previous kalp what he has done all these jivas they are just getting their desire in order that they can just complete their materialistic desires and according to that that lust and desire to complete that prospective karma phal is getting manifested and some kind of very some shudra jeev infinite decimal jeev jeeves are there that in different jeeves are there in this material creation if you can find that in this material creation some jivas are there if you can get that if you can find those jivas rare jivas that sometimes that very uh, respective jeev they can get that brahmatva they can get that brahmatattva in their life they can understand that what is actually that brahmatattva in the shastras in the shastras also it is written in the shastras it is also written that according to your own karma phal jivas are actually getting uh, their own respective material bodies that according to in different respective karma phal they are getting the different different kind of uh, reactions in bhagavad ji mahapran also bhagwan speaking at the time of giriraj govardhan puja bhagwan himself actually speaking this point in that bhagavatam bhagwan ne khud bata bhagwan himself speaking this point at the time of gordan puja so and according to your previous sanskar there also bhagwan speaking the same point karma na jayati jantu karma nahi ho abhipadati सुखम दुखम भयम खेमम कर्म नहीं वो अभी बात है संजा तो भगवत सत्या तत्काल कीड़ चोदित शिक्षाया मतिम चक्रे पूर्व संस्कार संस्कृत ददर्श केवल ध्यान it means that uh, at that that kind of creation what brahma wants to do it is actually just because of the previous uh, karma phal and in each and every jeevatma that previous kind of uh, nature and acharan what they are getting now it is just because of the previous sanskar and just because of this nature and sanskar that kind of cheshta in order to get that desire fulfilled they are getting this kind of uh, feeling inside that that in the previous uh, previous uh, purva karma he has done this kind of karma so because of that according to that his nature and uh, he is getting that uh, desire to fulfill his material desires and sometimes the jeevas that very uh, very fine jeev very uh, rare jeev he is very uh, he is a very uh, lucky jeeva sometimes you can find he is very rare and lucky in this material world if you can find that jeeva he that same uh, uh, eligible that same eligible eligible or qualified jeev he can get that brahmatva in his life like in the shastras this which are is there that from 100 births up till 100 births up till 100 births that according to the that accurate uh, if you are following varnashram dharma for 100 births then only he can get the actual uh, uh, actual position of brahma after that this is actual rules and after that in the other shlok it's written there in the shlok it is written there that all the four directions brahma actually seeing darkness and darkness all and he can't see anything else apart from darkness and in between that immediately 
fun kind of uh, uh, transcendental sound just came in his ears immediately one kind of this word just came in the ear that bhagwan that actually vani swarup of bhagwan that saraswati he is actually in the darkness also she is actually speaking something in the darkness who is actually speaking nobody knows some aerial transcendental voice just came in the ears of brahma and he just get the information from that aerial voice what actually speak spoken here in the darkness someone some aerial voice came and that some transcendental voice just came in the darkness what is that someone actually speaking that i know that this is actually saraswati who is she speaking that is actual vani swarup of bhagwan she is actually speaking it means that bhagwan himself speaking in the form of vani swarup actually speaking to brahma this mantra actually has been spoken by bhagwan by saraswati and after that what actually it's spoken here just be careful very very important just be attentive on this point what i'm speaking brahma ji got this that kaam gayatri from bhagwan directly भगवान दैट वानी स्वरूप दैट दिव्य सरस्वती वॉट वी कैन सी वेन शी कैन सी ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शन देर इज डार्कनेस एट दैट टाइम वेन देर इज फोर ऑन ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शन डार्कनेस वॉज देयर दैट ब्रह्मा जी एक्चुअली इज गॉट दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट ओ ब्राह्मण दिस मंत्र वॉट आई एम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू यू this mantra by this mantra you can you can get the actual worship of gopijan vallabh then only you can get the actual darshan of gopijan vallabh bhagwan otherwise not possible by this mantra only you, that is the actual thing you can completely get i cannot speak this mantra openly but still very uh very less actually is written in sanskrit about this so i will be just speaking uh, in very brief i will not be speaking the full details it's not at all good dashu divya saraswati kam krishnayu govindu e gopijano iti api pallavayu priya banner mantram te dashati priyam that kaam bhi sanyukt that kaam bhi sanyukt this ashta dakshashar mantra this is actually the top most ashta dakshashar mantra which by the kripa of bhagwan that by vani swarup saraswati actually giving it to brahma she is actually giving to brahma and by this mantra only you can get the top most siddhi in your life and you can get that avishta you can get the avishta siddhi and by this you can do the tapasya and slowly steadily you will get the actual thing in your life sarvatram inke do vritti it has two vritti categorization one is pra- one prakar vritti is what that all the pure pure jivas that that gokulpati shri krishna nanda nanda shri krishna who, that who is the gopijanapati that krishna that gopijanapati krishna that kind of uh, the relationship you can get it means that by this mantra attraction towards gopulpati and gopijanavallabhapati you can feel attraction towards that transcendental attraction towards gopijanavallabhapati that is the actual parikashta actual benefit what a jiva can all the jivatmas can get in their life if the sadak is actually nishkam then that 
that Siddha Premphal he can get in his life. But if sakam, sakamness is there inside, if he is sakam, if for sakam sadak, this mantra, that uttam mantra, it will be topmost for him. It means that those who are actually asking anything, they will get that in their life. The actual vichar is that, that in this chid visha, You understand the point what I am speaking? In this Chid Vishay, the actual vichar is that, that calm beach, it is there inside the lotus, transcendental lotus flower of the Golok, that one, two, third, fourth shlok, I have already discussed that before only, that inside that transcendental lotus flower, this uh, uh, mantra is there and I will be just going again and again in a flow of shlokas, I will be speaking to you. So that you can understand it completely. I have just spoken it. Now you cannot remember that. I can't do anything in that. What, what I have told you previously? You understand the point what I am speaking? After that what I have actually spoken here? You can, you, can, you can remember that, I have already told you previously, that this uh, those who are actually nishkam devotees, those sadhaks who are nishkam, they don't have any kind of desire, material desires. That by this uh, seed mantra, kaam, bhi, kaam seed mantra, this kind of Ashtadakshakshar Mantra, Mantra Raj, who is the king of all the mantras, that Aprakrit transcendental world, in the transcendental world, you can get that entry and you can get that actual service in that transcendental world. He can get that Siddhi. The, if the Sadak is Nishkam, that kind of topmost Siddha Prabhupal uh, fruit he can get. But still, if those who are Sakam Sadak, who have some desires, this Sarvatra Mantra will definitely give whatever they will desire. But they will not give Krishna Prem. And in this Chid Vishaya, that Kam Bij, it is there inside the transcendental lotus flower of the Gol Golok. Inside that it is present. In between that lotus flower, what is there in Golok. Inner portion of the lotus flower. You understand the point what I am speaking? In the Chid Vishaya, that in that transcendental vishay, this calm beach, it is there inside in Golok Dham, that uh, in innermost portion of that lotus flower, that oh Govinda, which is actually present in the innermost portion of that lotus flower, and that same calm beach, that perverted reflection, what we can find in this material world, in this material, uh, in the in this material perspective, we can find. Uh, different different kind of material desires and uh, material attraction in this material creation we are fi finding that perverted reflection of that transcendental calm there it means that all kind of material creation and desires it will get it just get satisfied and completely uh, done this is the power of this mantra you can't even expect what you uh, will not expect this is the actual power of mantra and brahma ji that uh, Divya Saraswati Bhagwan, that uh, Vani Swarupa Bhagwan, that from Divya Saraswati, he is just getting this uh, in the form of Vani Swarupa from in, inside his ears. And after getting this transcendental mantra, that again, Brahmaji, that again, aerial voice, he just, uh, he heard. That you, after just getting this mantra from Saraswati, transcendental Saraswati, that some kind of uh, again brief dis description he's got from the aerial voice, and he's getting the aerial voice. And uh, Brahmaji, you do one thing, you do tap tam tapo. 
हे ब्राह्मण यू डू तपस्या यू दैट मंत्र राज दैट जस्ट बाई डूइंग दिस जप यू जस्ट डू तपस्या इन दैट दैट डेफिनेटली सर्व सिद्धि यू विल गेट इन दैट दैट टॉप मोस्ट सिद्धि यू विल गेट नाउ ब्रह्मा जी ही इज एक्चुअली आफ्टर गेटिंग दिस मंत्र हाउ एक्चुअली ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड अनोइंगली ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड द एक्चुअल रीजन एंड ब्रह्मा जी दिस तपस्यम तपस्यम जस्ट बाई गेटिंग दिस एरियल वॉइस बाई दिस मंत्र यू विल गेट दैट सर्व सिद्धि जस्ट बाई डूइंग दिस मंत्र बाई दिस तपस्या बाई तपस्या यू विल गेट एवरी थिंग एंड नाउ ब्रह्मा जी जस्ट कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस बिकॉज भगवान इज गिविंग द इनर मोस्ट टॉप मोस्ट नॉलेज टू ब्रह्मा एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट नो नो वन एक्चुअली हैज स्पोकन बट बट जस्ट बाई नॉट स्पीकिंग the disciple actually just getting what the gurudev is speaking without gurudev speaking he can get the actual theme what gurudev wants so this can be done because bhagwan gives that such kind of knowledge to him so this already has been done and by that brahma abhi that brahma now now brahma he is getting this kind of desire transcendental desire bhagwan actually wants to give him the actual transcendental knowledge that he understood that and he just started doing tapasya doing that jap mantra of that kaam beej mantra continuously suchidam pranam govindam apidam ye mantra ke dwara by this mantra By this mantra, Govind, you can get, you can satisfy Govind, and but in order to satisfy Govind, he has done started doing this mantra. In order to satisfy Govind, just to get the actual preeti and attraction for Govind, he started speaking this mantra. that shweta dvipati that in order to get the kolokpati krishna in order to satisfy him he started just doing tapasya and just started uh, doing that jap of that mantra rupinya rupinya parjupasitam shasho dal sampanni koti kinjal ko bringhite bhumis chintamanistatru karnikare mahasani समासीनम चिदानंदम ज्यो ज्योति रूपम सनातनम शब्द ब्रह्ममय वेणु पादयंतम मुखाबुजे विलासीनी गणोवृत स्वयं स्वयं अंशैरविष्टुत इसके बाद क्या हुआ एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हाट हैपेंड बल अथो तेपे स सुचिरम प्रणम गोविंद मापय who is that that in the shweta dupati krishna he can get that this parat parakileshwar that ishwar parakam on adi adi govinda sakkar that govind he can get that by this mantra jap of this mantra and guna rupinya rupinya parjupasitam shasha dal sampanne कोटि किंजल को ब्रिंगिते भूमिस चिंता मनिस तत्रो कर्णिकारे महासने समासीनम चिदानंदम ज्योति रूपम सनातनम शब्द ब्रह्ममय वेणुम पादयंतम मुखम मुझे विलासिनी गणो वृतम स्वय शैर स्वय स्वय रंगशय रविष्टुत विलासिनी it means that same same brahma ji that is just calling govind ji in order to just attract govind 
that same Govind in order to just attract him. That same Govind ji, that same Brahma ji in order to uh, satisfy Govind, that just for the satisfaction of satisfaction of Govind, that same Brahma ji, that from in for long time he is actually that Shweta Dvipati Golokpati, he is just doing the tapa and uh, starting with the pasya of that uh, Golokpati Krishna. And just by what is the actual uh, uh, attention and what is the actual focus, how to concentrate on that, that uh, on that Chintamani Bhumi, that uh, Kotish Kishore, Ko Kishore is actually getting one lotus flower is there, that topmost transcendental lotus flower is there. And in that, inside that lotus flower, that, that the core point of that lotus flower, inside inner portion, there is one that very uh, topmost transcendental asan is there and in that particular asan transcendental asan that divya asan that chidananda sanatan krishna is actually getting is there uh, transcendentally present eternally present there that sanatan shri krishna is actually eternally present there uh, is actually sitting there and with and from his lotus uh, lotus like mouth that kind of very nice flute is uh, nice uh, fl- sound from the flute is coming and from his uh, mouth that uh, very nice sound from the transcendental flute and shabda brahm that shabda brahmayam venu flute from that transcendental sweet sound vibration is coming from that that from that flute that transcendental sound vibration is coming and this govinda that vilashani gopigans with them it means that according to the, the own Anch and Vilas Varup, that according to his own Parikar and paraphernalia, that he is getting manifested and getting served by them. You understand the point when I am speaking? This same, this Upasya, this same Upasya Vastu, that Gunmai Rupdharani Prakriti, this, that same Upasya Vastu, Gunmai Rupani Prakriti, is actually wants to worship that and is doing worship of that the actual meaning behind is that that our if our if actually the actual point of concentration and focus for us is topmost transcendental and eternal in, in nature then by that transcendental and eternal nature that guna rupani that sato and tamogun that it will just take the form of Durga, Durga Adi Swarup. It will just take the form of Yog Maya in front of us. And that kind of Yog by the source, she is actually just doing the actual Dhyan of Krishna. Uh, that same Yog Maya. Where inside our heart, if that material calm or material desire is actually there inside the heart, if that inside the heart, if that material desire, that definitely Maya Devi will become the Upasya Tattva will become worshipable tattva for us. Where actually inside our heart, there actually material karma is there. Up till that point, Maya Devi, the Upasya tattva Maya Devi will definitely be there. It means that, that by the actual drishti of Maya Devi, that Maya Devi is of whom? It's of Bhagwan only. So that Maya, we will be worshipping Maya Devi only. That Maya Shakti will be worshipping. Because this Maya Devi is also the actual shadow of that Antaranga Shakti. I've already told you before. I have already told in Brahma Samhita a lot of time I have discussed where inside our heart if material desire or material lust is there present inside our heart that material lust or desire is there but then at that time that Maya Devi, worship of Maya Devi will be the topmost and prominent uh, that Upasya worshipable object will be only Maya Devi. That the Upasya Tattva of Maya Devi, that the Upasya Tattva of Maya Devi, who is he? That is Bhagwan. But still, that why actually I am speaking worshipable, uh, worsh- because through Maya Devi we will be getting that. We are asking material things only from Maya Devi. We are actually speaking this now. So it means where 
inside the heart that kind of material desire it is actually there material lust there actually the worshipable tattva of maya devi will definitely be there it means that by not worshiping maya devi that the upasya tattva maya devi that is krishna we just need to worship him what mahaprabhu ji chaitanya mahaprabhu at the uh, bank of ganga just the uh, one uh, all those uh, girls actually worshiping uh, uh, ganga devi and bhagwan speaking to them that uh, full mala rice everything he has taken and is speaking to all those girls small girls that i have taking all the flowers and chandan everything and after that bhagwan speaking that okay you do one thing prabhu actually speaking to all those uh, small girls that you just worship me prabhu speaking that ganga durga ganga durga mahesh are all my servant prabhu ji actually speaking that ganga durga mahesh are all my servants you understand the point in bengali it is there this devi that who actually are actually just worshiping devi and requesting devi that uh, devi is actually granting the uh, your uh, grant grant permission through bhagwan only that what kind of uh, you are actually devi actually giving you it is what the actual permission she is getting she is actually getting it from bhagwan so now actually you are asking devi directly so you are foolish you should ask to bhagwan you are actually speaking this but in bhagwat ji mahapuran actually it is written you see that whatever kind of material desires you have infinity but if no whatever is there inside your heart maybe you have material desire or no material desire is there this actually is there in bhagwat ji mahapuran it means it means where inside of heart that material desire of kama is there there actually that upasya tattva maya devi will be pre- predominant but still maya devi is also getting the permission from bhagwan only inside your heart when that material desire is there but still definitely that upasya tattva maya devi is only worshipable but still uh, worshipable of maya devi is actually indirectly the worship of bhagwan only because you are asking maya devi directly because you have material kama that's why but still maya devi you by not doing worship of maya devi you are actually doing the seva of upasya tattva that will become the topmost prominent point that's why in bhagavad gita mahapuran openly actually it's spoken here this same bhagavat uh, what is written in bhagavatam that same in the same bhagavat shloka the actual meaning of this is that that may be that bhagavat vibhuti swarup that may be bhagavat vibhuti swarup that other demigods they are they are getting different different fruits according to different activities but the intelligent person will just be uh, taking the worship and he will not be worshiping those respective demigods and that sarva kam pradata that bhagwan paratvara kaleshwan parmeshwar shri krishna he will be taking that ananya bhakti on to lotus feet of shri krishna why because all those demigods respective demigods shankar brahma etc whosoever is there devi maya they can just give surya they can give according to the material desires what we are having just by the shakti of bhagwan they are giving the actual fruit that bhagwan is granting that shakti to them that's why after granting that shakti they will be giving you but they will that in some very impossible and in some very the which is what you have asked it is very impossible and that kind of desire what you have asked them that it is no uh, no your life can be in danger in that but they will be actually just giving you and they will not be giving you protection for that so they will be just giving you directly they will not be protecting you from such danger but bhagwan actually not like that bhagwan speaking like gokarn ji maharaj that his father atmadev that previous uh, that he he don't have any son no uh, no uh, daughter no son he is having 
but after that he wants to just uh, remove and kill himself and he just going to the jungle and want to kill to do suicide because i don't have any kind of daughter and son i don't have any child so when top most vaishnav actually speaking to him that <coughs> for your seven lives you are not at all getting any son and daughter and then uh, definitely i want to just die he is speaking atmadev then he just we in front of you i'll be just getting into the water i definitely have to take the son or do it i have to beget one child and mahatma actually become become in lot of problem actually is just doing i have to give him what to do actually it is not there written but still i have to give so how i can give okay he feel we just doing suicide okay okay you just stop and that's the great vision of that great muni what he has done that from his packet he is giving one fruit to him and you just give it to your wife and uh, she will be be getting one very nice child then you will be getting very nice child you just give it to your wife that's it and after that what happened that gokaran ji maharaj don't uh, can't understand that he has just get into a big problem that uh, he atmadev has just uh, uh, increased his exaggerated his own problem and he has just asked problems to come in his life and what happened lot of secrets are there behind that lot of secret is there in that hai na so lot of secrets are one secret is that 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 uh, the wife hasn't taken that fruit and she has just given it to the cow and go mata is just taking that fruit and she is giving birth to gokaran very topmost vaishnav she is giving birth to gokaran ji maharaj that cow and uh, her sister she is taking the child and she is speaking that this is my child just by be getting the child from her sister and just getting him the maintenance and all the nutrition she is giving to the child she is taking the child of that sister and i don't have any milk so that's why i'm giving it to my daughter and after that what happened that same child is becoming uh, that same atmadev he is getting into the forest just by crying and he just want to die why you are actually going to forest now actually bhagwan i want to kill myself because this kind of condition this kind of uh, child i don't want at all that's why i want to kill myself hmm. so this kind of child what i am getting this is actually killing me previously i went i just want child in my life that's why i want to kill myself now he is speaking that i don't want any kind of child what is the use of this kind of children your son or daughter so you see the condition now what is it if gokaran ji maharaj this which are his father atmadev if he is doing the worship of bhagwan and he'll be just worshiping bhagwan by that then he hasn't done that directly only uh, brahma ji has just uh, given this kind of uh, uh, promise to him युक्तानाम that which is nitya yukt it all the transcendently present that by uh, mind intelligence by gross and subtle body which is actually connected to me that by yog and shame i am actually taking that whatever i am giving i am giving protection and whatever i am not giving and i'll be giving him the protection also another demigods can't pro- promise you like that shankar bhagwan actually speaking he is giving okay is bhole baba is giving you are asking what is my uh, fault in it you are asking me i am giving it bhole baba is giving me like vikasur you can see but he is doing tapasya of shankar bhagwan he is asking some benefit from bhagwan and uh, shankar bhagwan just came and just give i i'll be giving you some uh, something and he is speaking that uh, whosoever i'll be just putting hand on to their head they will just get die okay what you are asking ha huh? this kind of uh, desire is there okay yeah i need this only and after getting that desire he is actually going uh, to chase shankar bhagwan in order to just kill shankar bhagwan <laughs> you see the case and shankar bhagwan again just running himself but bhagwan shri krishna if someone actually is just asking something from bhagwan shri krishna then definitely he will give protection what you will ask him that's why according to the shastra vichar it is that that if some material desires 
if someone some person or some individual jivatma is having that material desire is having but still he is actually doing the bhajan of bhagwan and if he is if material desire is not at all there still you have to do the bhajan of bhagwan maybe the other demigods and shankar the surya narayan they are actually they are ganpati are there each and every demigods they can fulfill your desires that what kind of desires you are having definitely they can uh, come forward and give you that definitely they can give by because they don't have they have this kind of eligibility bhagwan has given them that kind of power that kind of power is actually given by bhagwan so that they can give this kind of uh, blessings to others also because that power is actually given by bhagwan only to them so they can grant blessings to others as well brahma ji by this process only that from the beginning that kind of uh, uh, maya devi supasya tatva who perceivable object by this brahma ji from the very far distant place that kind of upasya tatva swarup of maya devi that golok vilasi golok pati krishna is actually just concentrating on that maybe brahma ji they have some material desire in order to just uh, Uh, fulfill his desire inside his heart bhagwan himself actually is uh, de- uh, desiring this but by Br- via brahma actually is just uh, getting fulfilled so all those intelligent person just like brahma they are not at all actually worshiping any kind of dumb gods that shakti vishesh to parmeshwar shri krishna with ananya bhakti and steady bhakti they should do bhakti of bhagwan by this brahma ji by this which are only from very far distant place that uh, maya devi is worshipable object that shri krishna golok vilasi golopati shri krishna is just focused on that and concentrated on that shuddha bhakti hi and only that kind of nishkam and shuddha bhakti he wants to get and brahma ji also that kind of bhakti is also sakam what brahma ji is having just be attentive on that one shuddha bhakti nishkam bhakti shuddha bhakti nishkam bhakti and brahma ji and brahma adi that bhakti is there that is sakam also that saka inside sakam bhakti also there is kind of nishkam situation is there condition is there now the actual question comes here that brahma ji if he is in this non nishkam and is some anya vilas is there then definitely our guru dev is also this which are is totally wrong the actual the which are is totally different i will be discussing it in uh, details later sakam bhakti also there is kind of nishkam situation is there in sakam bhakti also there is one kind of nishkam condition is there and in this uh, granth at the last i will be describing it in to- in total by this five shlokas i will be discussing it and i will be dis- describing you briefly in details that bad jiva swarup siddhi uh, bonded jiva when they are not at all getting swarup siddhi up till that point bonded jivas when they are no, not getting up to the position of swarup siddhi up till that point this kind of sulab bhajan that is the feasible bhajan they have to perform this i will be discussing it later i'll give you one example and then after that you will understand like by brahma ji maharaj like that brahma ji actually is getting a division in rajogun and shankar ji actually is getting division in tamogun and vishnu is actually satogun and i will give you one example regarding this one example i'll give you so that you can understand what i'm speaking like like the case in brahma ji definitely some uh, uh, kamna vasna desire is there that is the actual will of bhagwan because why bhagwan wants to divide uh, brahma ji maharaj with uh, rajogun and why actually is doing this kind of lila so that he can just take another kind of seva from brahma ji that's why this kind of uh, uh, division is actually categorized between all this and that same brahma ji is getting that same uh, duty and that same brahma ji is speaking to sanat kumar that you just take everything from me and and they are speaking that we will not do sansar at all that sanat kumar when brahma ji speaking that you just make kids and just uh, have wife why you are actually not doing 
you have to just increase on your creation uh, what you are just just is giving shrap is just giving uh, that you will not be doing marriage okay you will be getting like four four year kids that's it brahma ji maharaj man actually giving one kind of instruction then definitely they have to do sansar but they are not at all um, obeying brahma ji and uh, when uh, in forward when they went that brahma ji is uh, son in law he what is what's his name priyavrat priyavrat also has don't this kind of uh, desire to do this kind of material creation he don't have he always want to be a topmost brahmachari and he just went to jungle and he just left everything all his kingship and everything and now what to do then uh, with narad ji maharaj he just uh, set and he is just uh, learning tattva gyan and in that in in that that manu ji maharaj just came and he's become too much old and he's actually speaking to his father brahma ji that you see your son in law he has just left everything and just went to the jungle priyavrat so you do something he has just become a topmost tyagi what is uh, there in becoming a tyagi you just let me he don't want to do material creation you do actually one do creep on me you just ask him to come back you just uh, you everything i will just give him on in his hands because i have to go in bhajan and my age is very old now i have to go then brahma ji just came there ha eh? brahma ji just came to priyavrat and speaking to priyavrat and there is one nice cave in the mountain and there actually narad ji maharaj speaking tatva gyan just speaking all the instructions of tattva gyan to priyavrat and in the in the meantime brahma ji maharaj came there and he just stand up priyavrat and just put tandva down to lotus feet of brahma ji maharaj and brahma ji actually just started speaking to him that beta you see why have you come here where everything will be done by going in jungle only ha huh? that those who are pramat that those who have that your those your sense organs are not at all uh, getting uh, adjust you haven't controlled your sense organ then you will go to the jungle you are thinking that you will control your sense organs it is not at all possible like that those that uh, those who are already not at all uh, getting uh, control over their sense organs it's no use for them to go to the jungle because those material sense organs definitely gonna put you in trouble this material creation what kind of bad thing it can do for you if you are already kaam jai all kind of desires are already uh, if you are actually jitendriya already you have just controlled your mind and sense organs then what is the actual uh, disappointment that material creation can bring in your life you just go to the material life and you just do material creation i am also doing you see shankar bhagwan also doing and you should also go and do also and i am also i am also doing the same why you are not at all doing because is the actual uh, instruction of bhagwan that we have to do that definitely and uh, brahma ji just by speaking the brahma ji maharaj instructed to priyavrat in order to satisfy bhagwan that's why he is only doing this creation he is that what kind of rajagun he is actually uh, busy in doing material creation he is actually just uh, satisfying bhagwan in that by that sakam bhakti mein bhi then in sakam bhakti also externally you can see that brahma ji actually is sakam but in this sakam bhakti also there is one kind of nishkam avastha that nishkam condition is definitely there you can find and i definitely i'll discuss it later because because why you are actually speaking brahma ji as adi kavi and adi guru why i'll be just thinking like that that he is adi guru so then priyavrat actually just went back to have that material creation material life and is brahma ji speaking that me brahma and shankar ji bhagwan varun everyone actually doing their respective duties in this material creation and they are just uh, uh, in order to satisfy the bhagwan he is uh, they are actually following the instructions of bhagwan i am not at all actually uh, disappointing bhagwan by not following the rules and regulations uh, put to in front of in front of me by bhagwan you also have to do the same thing just to satisfy bhagwan in this material love and then by brahma ji instructing him and after that priyavrat ji just came back to the material life so there are lot of cases like this navyogendra also uh, went back to their house 
Navyog Indra also came back, no? That uh, Rishab Rishab Dev some they also have just uh, went to the jungle. For each and every person, sansar is not at all good for each and every person. For each and every person, material life that Ananda Daik and all happiness he cannot find. Definitely in this material life that Ananda is there. So if it, if Ananda is not there, then why persons are actually going away to this sun material sansar? Ananda is there. Definitely they are going for that. No, that's why they are just doing material sansar. Material. Definitely happiness is there. Definitely they are doing because some happiness kind of happiness is there in it. So that's why they are doing it. But. This anand, this happiness, it is just of two days, two seconds. This is very temporary. Just very, very temporary. This anand, what you are th- taking. So whatever be the case, after that, that shloka, I will be just, uh, I have already told you and maybe you can just understand this shloka, what I have told. That when, that Ashtadakshashar Mantra, that by that seed it is getting uh, absorbed. And uh, that uh, Vani Swarupa of Bhagwan, that Saraswati, he is getting from uh, Brahmaji Maharaj. And after that, and after that, this uh, Brahmaji actually is doing all the tapasya and just by focusing and concentrating on that Kam Bij Mantra. Guno Rupinya Rupinya Purjupasatam Shasa Dala Sampanni Koti Kinjal Kopring Hiti Pumis Chintamanis Tatru Karnikari Mahasani Shamasinam Chidanandam Jyoti Rupam Sanatanam Shabdu Brahmamayam Benum Badayantam Mukambuji Vilasini Gana Pritam Shwai Shwai Rangsho Vilasini Gana Pritam Shwai Shwai Angshai Ravishtutam Up till this point I have already discussed that by the Kripa of Bhagwan, by the will of Bhagwan I have discussed and uh, in the forward, then we will go. This kind of sloka is going. Maybe I will be just discussing it tomorrow. But still, I will be just touching it. I'll just be starting it. This sloka, this kam gayatri kam bij, that what Brahmaji has got from Bhagwan, and that same Brahmaji, that some person speaking to Brahmaji, that that Brahmaji has no no qualification and eligibility to do kam bij. Are how foolish Bhagwan uh, Brahmaji not having qualification. Nadashu Trayimuti Maigati Spuranti Prabhi Beshashu Mukabjani Swayambhuva Gayan Gayatrim Gayatahas Tasmad Odigatu Sadu Yajaha Shanskitu Cha Adi Guruna Diyutvam what after that happened what happened here that after that while doing tapasya when everything is done when Bhagwan gets satisfied with Brahmaji Maharaj and everything gets successful then after that Bhagwan uh, getting the darshan of Bhagwan and he is just getting in the Padmasan and from all the four sides that uh, lotus flower is there and he also got the darshan of Bhagwan and and Bhagwan actually is just playing on flutes. He is just seeing that. This only Ved Matra that Gaitri Mai. That it is just getting from the actual flute of the Krishna. That all the Gaitri that it is getting in the form of a very nice flute sound from the flute of Krishna. It is that Ved Mata, the mother of Veda, that Gaitri, it is actually coming from the Sri Krishna's flute. It is coming. Very nice uh, Sri Krishna transcendental sound vibration from the flute. It is coming. And Brahma has four uh, faces and definitely he has eight ears. In that eight ears, that uh, transcendental sound of the flute of Krishna is getting there. 
and is getting out from his mouth in the form of four Vedas. And that uh, that same uh, song, that same song in the form of Gayatri, that uh, from Adi Guru Bhagwan, in the form of Sanskrit, that it is getting the form of Sanskrit language. Sanskrit means that sanskar, not language. So Brahma ji, that uh, the previous sanskar, everything uh, is done. Dvij sanskar, everything is done, and in the form of Brahma ji. Bhagwan has given that topmost Divya Gyan to Brahma. Everything he has given to Brahma. And so how you can speak that he is not at all Adi Guru? Huh? Foolish. Brahma he is a Adi Guru. When Bhagwan himself speaking. This all kind of secrets so what I am actually speaking. You just take that. And after that Bhagwan speaking. That uh, what kind of bhav, what is my swaru, what is my dham, everything I am actually uh, manifesting in front of you. This kind of uh, topmost jnan I am actually giving by you, this is my actual blessing, you will get everything. So how you can speak that Bhagma is not my Adi Guru? How it can be possible? Spuranti Prabhibeshasu Mukhabjani Shayambhavaha Gayatrim Gayataha Tashmat Adhigattu Saru Yajaha Shanskritascha Adi Guruna Dijatyam Agamattataha up till this point uh, I will be giving rest and uh, tomorrow I will be just discussing it in brief and more descriptive way I will be describing it to you Krishna Rakshatu no Jagatra Yoguru Krishna Namadham Sada Krishna Kilo Shatrabu Binihitaha Krishna Yutasmai Namaha Krishna Eva Samatitam Jagadidam Krishna Shu Dasho Usmi Aham Krishna Tishtati Bishamitat Akhilam He Krishna Rakshashamam Vanchakalpadurusha Kipasindhubhavacha Patitanam Pavanibhu Vishnabhyo Namon